Hey, what's going on guys? I know it's been a while since I last uploaded on this channel, but today I wanted to review the Sama X8C. So, as you can see, I have my Sama X8C. This is actually my second one. The first one I got over the summer, you guys have already seen it in my previous videos, but it flew away. Um, basically, what happened is I was flying it in my yard, and I wanted to capture the sunset, and next thing I knew, I lost control of it. What happened is, first of all, these cheaper drones, this is $100, about $100, and it's very light, it's cheap, the motor isn't that strong, you don't have the GPS system, and all of that combined only creates a mess, you know? So if you put it too high up in the air, especially if you have any sort of wind, it'll just fly away, you'll lose control, it's very dangerous, you know, thankfully nothing really went wrong just the fact that I lost my drone but as far as I know nothing happened no damages to anybody or anything so I got lucky but um you know it's not the best drone to really um, catch capture um, footages you know whether it's a still photo or a video it's not the best because first of all you're very limited in terms of the range and second of all you would, you would need a gimbal and you would need some sort of a decent camera to take a camera or a cam take a shot, you know, take a footage. And if you add on external cameras, it becomes a very heavy extra weight for the drone and the battery, um, battery goes from like 12 minutes to 6 minutes. So you're only going to be able to fly it for a certain amount of time, the range is very small. You have to think about the lack of GPS and it's very unstable especially when you're trying to make adjustments so ultimately if you're trying to make or if you're trying to get this drone to take shots or make a make a movie I don't know if you're looking at the right one I mean it's certainly probably the best option for the price range but I mean if you're looking for something that can get you a decent shot I would probably go to um, DJI Phantom 3 standard um, version, you know, that's only like $500, I, and I say only because it used to be like $800, now it's down to $500, and I think for the price and everything you get from that drone, I would definitely try to get that one, not this one, but on the other hand, if you're trying to just practice your dr drone and um, your flying skills and just getting used to flying drones in general this is definitely the right one for you because you obviously have the size it's definitely a bigger drone for the price um, you know you definitely have that remote control and you're getting used to different things in order for you to become a master at it and that'll help you you know fly bigger drones and more expensive drones and it'll certainly add to your confidence so in that sense it is a good drone and it's definitely a fun drone you know you have that size again and it's relatively stable it's just not stable enough for footages but it is stable just for flying for fun so it's definitely fun it's entertaining so in that sense i would definitely suggest you to get it because it's probably the best out there in terms of the price range but if you're trying to go for that photography side you know it's a different road and if you're trying to take that road i don't know if you're looking at the right drone because again ultimately you would end up having to spend extra money anyway so you might as well skip over this and go right into the dji and other expensive drones so that's my overall review um last thing i would mention is the battery you know again it's like 12 minutes and the battery this drone and most other drone uses very dangerous you know you've seen um it's, pre it's pretty much the same type of battery that's used in hoverboards and you've seen those go on fire so the same thing could definitely happen with these drones i'm not i'm not saying it's gonna go on fire but it's not the safest and i guess it is the best option right now but i mean i'm just gonna tell you the battery is very disappointing you might have to get um a few of them if you want to fly for like 25 minutes even you know so keep that in mind but um ultimately if you want to get it i think you should get it but you have to consider what you want to what you want to do with it you know but again i would rate this maybe 8 8.5 out of 10 if you're looking into that hobby side but if you're looking into that photography side i don't know i don't know if i should even rate it because i don't think it's just fair because this drone was never meant to be used as a photography drone you know so that's my review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be making more videos in the future. So please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.